So the Trinity River is a huge vessel of life for our people. It's our lifeblood. And so um, our river is our subsistence as people. And our whole valley is centered around it. And if you look at the Hoopa Valley, it actually was carved out by the river. And so that's something that's really awesome about this place. Um, if you go to the river, you'll see the rocks that are, um, that are carved out by the river. Some of them are from the ocean. So you can see where the ocean waters came in here or how it was here before. And then you can see the seats that we use in our traditional dances and the, um, and the um, deer skin and our brush dances and then also um, in our um, white deer skin dances. So the, there's three center stones in, in our dances and those come from our river. And This is the story of how Coyote got the best eyes and it pretty much is a hoopa story and it goes like this. When long time ago, during the time of animals, there was coyote and salmon. They had gone down. Coyote always wanted the best of the best of the best. And so he always thought he had the best eyes, the best everything. And so he was talking to salmon, and salmon told him, No, I have the best eyes. That's how I can see underneath water. And coyote was really jealous, so he really wanted salmon's eyes. And so he thought up to his mind, I'm going to get these eyes from Salmon. And so his thought was to make up this story of how this game is going to get the butch. And in, the, in our language, that means um, it's pretty much a men's game. There is no rules for this game. It's between a little bit of lacrosse and wrestling. But So he told Salmon that he saw this game way over there, way in the pasture. And he, he said, this game is getting really good. There's people just fighting each other. They're getting, they're getting really good. They're scoring points. And Salmon could not see this game. And he was wondering why he couldn't see this game. And Kylie told him, it's because I have the best eyes, not you. And so Salmon was like, no, I have the best eyes. And so, well, Coyote said, well, maybe if you use my eyes, you'll be able to see them. And so Coyote was really lining it up this time. He's like, oh, my God, someone just scored. He's also, here, use my eyes. You'll be able to see it. It's getting really good. And he basically tricked Salmon into switching him eyes. And so as soon as he switched Salmon eyes, Salmon could not see a thing. Even underwater, it got even worse for Salmon. And Salmon was really mad. He's like, oh, why can't I see nothing? I can't even see the game. And by the time that they switched eyes, uh, Coyote was gone. And so there, you know, that's why Coyote, he says he has the best eyes now. So. Oh. <laughs> but, and so Salmon, you know, it was got really worse for him. And so he was bumping into everything and doing everything. And he even tried to swim off and catch Coyote. And he, that's why he has a hooked bill to this day. Because he could not see nothing. Right here is the Lewiston Dam. And this is where the fish hatchery is on the Trinity River. And really, this is why the, the fish has the hook bill, because they keep slamming into that dam. The Hoopa Valley is the most beautiful place in the whole wide world. We believe here, as the Natinawe people, that we are in the center of the universe. Our river is our lifeline. So the Trinity River that you see is very pristine and it's natural, natural, um, a natural river that runs through the valley which has fisheries, habitats in it. So our local coho salmon and we have acorn trees here. We have berries, huckleberries, uh, strawberries and we live in the Garden of Eden. If you read a lot of the history books about the Hoopa people um, we were able to live off the land in harmony for millions of years. Um, one, th one thing that makes us unique as Hoopa people is that we never left our homeland. Um, whereas many of the tribes out in the lower 48 were forced to different places and relocation. The Hoopa people have remained here since time immemorial. And so that's one thing that makes us unique. Another thing that makes us unique is that we're a self-governance tribe and we're one of the largest land-based tribes in the state of California. We have 3,142 members as of And 
And so New Zealand came to us, mm -hmm. and they were going through the same struggles, and they actually had to breed s salmon again, which came from a sister tribe, which is the Mount Shasta Winema tribe. And they came here to the Hoopa tribe to ask us for help in their battle to save their salmon in their rivers. Mount Shasta, in our, um, in our belief, as Hoopa people, we go up um, onto the summit and we pray over to Mount Shasta, and she blesses us with our life. And um, on the Trinity River, that's something that's really awesome. Three times a day, Mother Earth will tell us that she loves us and remind us who we are as people. And um, so she breath, um, her breath will come up and you'll feel the wind in the morning time about um, three o'clock and then right before um, mm -hmm. before the sun goes down. And so you'll always feel that wind and that just reminds you as people, you know, that she's still there and she kill, still cares about us and loves us. And so one thing awesome about the summit, and when you go up the summit and you look over at the Mount Shasta in the morning time, you'll see her breath, same thing. And so she's reminding us who we are as people and that we're thankful to be alive and thankful to be um, native people and thankful for all the things that we have and that we're blessed to be able to be here. And so what we're asking as a people is it's gonna take all of us um, working together as one to be able to save our tributaries and our salmon because we know that we have a fight that's going to continue on and we're dealing with the largest corporations and companies that are in the nation and they have deep pockets and so what they're doing is if they're able to continue to keep us in this litigation and traveling to all these meetings and held up litigation on simple things like temporary restraining orders and injunctions on our on our fisheries and our rivers that we'll eventually run out of money and we won't be able to fight them. And so we'd need help from different people to be able to have our ways and to do our, to practice our culture and keep the waters running in our rivers. So it's gonna take all of us working together, every tribe, every man, every woman out there to save what we have. Because if you listen to the, um, the testimonies from um, prophecies from other tribes, they say after everything is, um, every tree is logged, um, we will realize that we can't eat money. And so if you look, it's a Cheyenne, Cheyenne proverb, but all of the people that are not living on reservations will come back to the native people and ask us our ways, our medicines, and how, um, how they're supposed to live on the lands because they'll destroy all of our natural habitats mm -hmm. and then they'll have to come back to us to ask us how to how to live and um, be able to preserve and protect our lands so that's something that has been told in prophecy through other tribes and we believe it as people um, and so it's going to take all of us to work together to save our fish and to save our water and um, to save this this precious beautiful place that we have and we live in that we call home bought the salmon and eel and they said they were going to gamble so the, the salmon said I'm going to win your bones Mr. Eel so they gambled and and the salmon won all his bones so so to, to this day, the salmon's got all the bones and the eel doesn't have any bones.